Fantastic. Well, this is uh, Mr. Libby Armstrong. My name is Matt Lloyd. I painted this for this, ex this wonderful exhibition to bring to light, um, you know, problems in the care system and and to see how people who have been brought up in poor situations can turn that into something positive. And he certainly did that. And when he was born in extreme poverty, his mum was a prostitute, I believe, and his dad wasn't in the picture. And, you know, he was, he was taken all over, all over New Orleans in a very, very poor, poor time. And, uh, yeah, he got into m music and ch he channeled that negativity into positivity. Well, it's about, it's, it's about, like I say, turning trauma into, channeling it into some art form. I mean, art's so important to be able to express yourself. I mean, you know, I've lost a friend, a close friend recently who grew up in the care system. Um, and from the outside, you thought he had, a, he had everything, but he, because he didn't talk to people, didn't communicate, he didn't have some kind of outlet. Um, you know, he ended his own life and it's torn me to pieces. But it's, it's you know, I've lost, I can't count them, I've got, I haven't got enough fingers to count how many people, close friends I've lost, all males, because, you know, because I couldn't communicate, so, so important. And, you know, art is a form of communication, isn't it? You know, you communicate and you let it out rather than bottle it, bottle it all, all up, which is, you know, it's never the answer. <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to do, you've got to let it out sing a song about it or write something or paint a picture about it or do something, talk to someone. Yeah, it's uh, there's so many things that are broken in the care system. Um, so many horror stories that here that are going on, that, you know, all the time, constantly, and it's, it's the opposite of care. <laughs> it's the opposite of care. You know, these kids need actual real love and care and then it's not getting it in so many so many instances and anything you can do to change that and this is you know this is a little exhibition in a little town but uh it's at least it's people trying to underline things that need to be you know made more aware of well it can help channel it can help channel channel your energies you know, um, I've, I, I've, I've run several art classes and I've had people who say that they, they're not artists, they can't draw a stick man, that's what most people say to me. But I'll give them a canvas and some, some, some brushes and some paints and, and, just, and just say, just, you know, paint what you feel, all colour has emotional, it's an emotional trigger, colour is an emotional trigger, so you put a bit of red down and it's, it, it, it'll, it'll make, it, make you feel a certain way. You know, so it, art can be an amazingly therapeutic experience and a very messy one. As you can see, I'm this is my best jacket and I'm just covered in paint. Um, I mean, yeah. Um, but I don't know where I'd be personally if it weren't for art, if I couldn't express myself through art. You know, you know I've had tra trauma in my childhood that if I, if I couldn't let that out, I wouldn't be here today, you know. So it saved my life, and I know it can it can save lives. Being able to do, I know people who've said if it weren't for my poetry or my music or my art, I, you know, I wouldn't be able to carry on. So I think it's vitally important. Not just it's not just a nice pastime. I think it's important. It should be encouraged, definitely, and it's also a lot of fun. Yeah.